I bought this Fluke 115 multimeter for $15 at a pawn shop. When I got it home, I found out that the fuse was blown. As you can see here, there is no current flowing through the flashlight and multimeter. See, I told you it was $15. Yeah, I couldn't believe it either. It's really easy to disassemble these. Just two screws and it hinges right apart. It takes just a little jiggling. The case kind of hinges up toward the top of the multimeter. As you can see here, there are two little teeth that retain the case. Multimeters typically use these large fuses. It's required for the cat rating. What I'm about to do will render that rating meaningless. Since I never use these for testing high voltage or high current devices, this should be fine for now. I 3D printed this little adapter from PLA. If it's a standard automotive glass fuse. I modeled this in Autodesk Inventor. I made two cylinders to represent each of the two different sized fuses. Assemble them together and derive the final shape by subtracting one from the other. I took a small cut to expose the fuse a little bit more. Clip the new fuse assembly into place and it's ready to test. Always test stuff before you put it back together whenever possible. It works. Now it's time to reassemble the multimeter. Great, another successful project designed and printed from scratch. Why is it that everything I make is a holder of some sort? Oh well, tune in next time for another 3D printed holder project. Maybe the channel should be called the 3D printed stuff holder channel. You decide.